بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اے بریف ایکسپلینیشن ریگارڈنگ سننا فرام اوور آل انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف قرآن اینڈ حدیث سننا مینس پریکٹیکل اپلیکیشن آف اللہ آڈرس دیٹ از شریعہ رولس اینڈ ریگولیشنس ان پریکٹس ان پروفیٹک وے اور میتھرڈ اینڈ اٹ از مینڈیٹری دیٹ از فرد to follow the prophetic way that is sunnah as Allah said in the Quran to obey Allah and his messenger in the religion of Islam and there are two main things in Islam that is the iman that is faith and amal that is the actions iman that are the beliefs in unseen mostly things like about Allah is one and his sifat life after death day of judgment angels jannah and jahannam etc that are the beliefs or aqaid in these you have to believe how prophet interpreted to sahaba usually it was an a explanation or elaboration of Quranic verses. You cannot interpret as you want by your own understanding because the Prophet was guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly through Wahi by Angel Jibrail and other ways also like dreams etc. As Allah said in Quran to as said in quran have two types of ayat in quran one regarding the ahkam or the uh, commandments that is commandments which are clear and decisive uh, that are the basic of the book which are required for us to follow in that uh, that is clear and some are متشابی ہاتھ آیات ریگارڈنگ وچ وی شوڈ ناٹ ڈو تاویل دیٹ از انٹرپریٹیشنس یو شوڈ ناٹ گو ان ڈیپ ان ڈیٹیلس آف دس آیات دس از موسٹلی آف اللہ اینڈ ہز صفات وی شوڈ ناٹ گو ان ڈیٹیل وی شوڈ ٹیک ایز اٹ از سیٹ دیس اٹ وی ہیو ٹو بلیو ایز اٹ is for example in Quran it is there that shaheed uh, in the way of Allah are alive and but how you do not know but how they are alive you do not know so we should not go in details regarding this ayat and come to a wrong conclusion that they are alive as it is in the graves also we should believe what it is said that's it we should not go in details and come to a wrong interpretations and the mutashabi hath verses that you cannot interpret especially regarding of allah and his sifat that we should believe as it is said not interpret that is we should not go in to do tahwil tahwil regarding like allah and his allah have hand allah have face allah rose the throne uh, uh, we should believe as it is you should not do tahwil interpretations uh, like how allah have hand uh, it is regarding his qudrat uh regarding his khudra that is power etc not like that and regarding his sifat how can now how he can be not in this world and he that then he become isolated so come to a wrong conclusion that he is everywhere etc so you should not do tawil interpretation like this of Allah and especially uh, and his sifat 
this ayat of mutashabihat should be taken belief uh, as it is said as it is said that's it so in the following sunna way also you have some stuff which are mandatory for the, that is specially derived from the things which are present in quran for example like qiyam standing in salah ruku and sujood are fard in salah because it is present in quran and some are in hadith regarding rasulullah's absolute orders and uh, some stuff are recommended for example nafil salah so in praying salah some are mandatory and some are recommended in sunna way so uh, also and you have to follow sunna exactly in uh, exactly in prophetic way only you cannot add or subtract stuff seems to be good by your own understanding that uh, that acts become invalid or bidda and so in the sunna way also some stuff are mandatory and some are recommended for example some rakats are mandatory and some rakats are uh, recommended that is na feel to pray similarly like in marriage and divorce procedures also some things are mandatory for and some are recommended so if not performed the mandatory action it is regarded as sin and a sin and in sin also there are two types of major and minor how to make out the major sins the major sins are usually have a punishment mentioned in quran or sahih hadith in this world or in the hereafter and this includes hadood crime also and performing the mandatory actions are rewarded and regarding the recommended nafil optional stuff by not performing that recommended actions it is not punishable but if you perform that actions you have extra rewards in the scale on the day of judgment and the sunna now days derived from sahi hadith and sahi hadith should be interpreted in the light of quran because rasulullah explained or elaborated the quran so sahi hadith should not go against the quran it should be according to the quran quran as in hadith it is said rasulullah life is practical quran they there are three types of sunna derived from hadith sunna qawliya that is the saying of rasulullah noted down by the companions that is called hadith sunna failia that is actions of rasulullah in the religious matter sunna takririya the approval of rasulullah regarding the action of the companions which occurred in two ways when he kept silent for an action and did not oppose it when he showed his pleasure and smiled for a companion action similarly sharia law has three main categories that is mandatory action uh, recommended actions forbidden actions which include the hudud crimes there are three main sources to drive the sharia law that is the quran sunna that is authentic hadith and qiyas analogical reasoning